Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a bit different because I'm not going to talk about coding, uh, rather I'm going to talk about uh, hardware and hardware is not my area. So I took help from Damien who is uh, also an admin of Kaggle Noob Slack if you're familiar with that. If not, it's fine. Uh, you can also go and follow him on Twitter. I've added his Twitter uh, profile in the description box so he helped me and uh, I came up with this video in which I talk about different kinds of parts that you would need to build your data science or machine learning or deep learning workstation whatever you want to call it and I have divided into it into several parts so one part is uh, the low range then you have the mid range and you have high range super high range um, but a lot of people also ask me about the configuration of my system. So let's go take a look at configuration of my system right now and uh, let's see how it evolved first. So my system consists of a i7 core i7 5820 processor. It's very old. I think I built this system in 2016 or end of 2015 and then I have a I had a cooler master simple CPU cooler and I have a Asus x99 motherboard I have 64 GB of RAM I have a, a lot of uh, hard disk space and I had 850 Pro Samsung and I built the system all because I won this graphics card uh, Titan X um, in an auto ML competition and then the casing and uh, I have a thousand watts of uh, power supply I prepared for the future and also a CD DVD writer that nobody buys these days so uh, this system overall I'm not sure I think this price is uh, the price including the GPU so the GPU cost is costed around $1200 and I got it for free so this system was built in less than $2000 and I have um, now upgraded uh, so I have changed the CPU cooler from a simple uh, cooler to liquid based cooling and I have also upgraded my SSD to M2 NVMe SSD which is much faster and uh, I also upgraded my video cards so I, I bought uh, 2080 Ti's 7 months ago so 2 of them and uh, that was my configuration with uh, NVIDIA GeForce uh, 2080 Ti's RTX GPUs and currently on my system I have a Titan RTX and one 2080 Ti uh, so you should have both the GPUs which are same because then you won't otherwise you won't be able to use some functionalities if they're quite different from each other so this is the website I use PC part picker to build these configurations so you can just go to this website and I'm not affiliated with the website by the way so I just like this website and you can build your own system so anyways now this is my machine this is my old machine let's say and um, now I will show you uh, how you can uh, build your own machine or like the what kind of configuration you should buy and we will start from uh, very low range uh, machines so low range in terms of price so this is like one of the low range machines I built it has core i5 processor so this is 10th generation uh, simple CPU cooler uh, you have a MSI uh, motherboard it's a gaming motherboard so always choose a gaming motherboard if possible 
you can also like have different options for the motherboard so this motherboard costs 169 170 dollars so you can have some other motherboard if you want to buy and if you don't want to spend a lot on the motherboard but you know so here i'm using only 16 gigabytes of ram so this is this is more than enough for a lot of uh, machine learning applications if you if you have some money to spare then probably upgrade it to 32 gigabytes so it all depends on your motherboard and that's why it's very important to so buy a motherboard which supports a lot of ram maybe 128 gigabytes of ram because in future when you have uh, money and you want to upgrade your system you probably don't need to buy a new system maybe you just want to add some parts and that's what i did with when i built my system so i my my motherboard supports up to 64 gigabytes and at that time 64 gigabytes was a lot maybe it's less now but at that time it was a lot and then you have samsung 970 nvme ssd so th these nvme m2 ssds are like uh, this small and very fast so uh, go for nvme uh, ssds and then i have a geforce nvidia geforce rtx so this is uh, so this is like uh, nvidia is not the vendor uh, here uh, so it's uh, from pny and this is 6 6 gigabytes it's rtx 2060 so this is like a very low range i would say um, graphics card that you can use you can also go for 2070 um and then uh, the casing always depends on you so if you want to go for a fancy casing you can take a fancy casing if you want to go for a simple one you can go for a simple one so only thing that you have need to, need to take care of is uh, different kinds of uh, it should support like it should have enough space for uh, everything that you're adding here and one more cool thing about this uh, website is you can it tells you the compatibility so currently it's green so i don't have many compatible compatibility issues and it can it gives me some some notes and then in this configuration i also have 650 watts of power supply which is good enough and you can see like it gives you a estimated wattage so estimated is 389 watts and i have 650 watts it's good enough this machine will cost you around $1100 and this is like a very simple machine and it will work for your if you're a beginner in data science or machine learning buy something like this and uh, you're good to go uh, then like um, here if if you upgrade it let's say you want a better processor or because i5 is a bit old now you maybe you want a better processor and you maybe you also want a, a better gpu so then you have to uh, get ready to pay some extra money so this configuration costs around 1100 dollars so let's go to the next one The next configuration I have is more or less the same. So few things have changed. Uh, so the change, the first change is the processor. So now I have a i7 10th generation processor. And then I have, I have the same CPU cooler. I have the same motherboard. Instead of 16 GB RAM, I have 64 GB RAM now. So with the same motherboard. I think it is the same motherboard. Let me see. Yeah, it's the same motherboard. And uh, I have 970 EVO, 500 gigabytes of SSD. Uh, then I have a 2080, RTX 2080 Ti. So NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti is very amazing. Uh, works for all your uh, deep learning needs um, or most of your deep learning needs. So you can buy this one. And uh, if you're a beginner or intermediate, it's it's quite a good video card so it's a very good gpu and then there's the same old casing and uh, same old power supply so i'm not i'm not i've not changed the power supply either so the only things that's different in this one 
uh, the low range machine and uh, this uh, little bit higher range machine is your processor and the video card that's it and the cost of this machine will be uh, around 2300 2400 dollars so you go from 1100 dollars to 2200 dollars so it's just double the price by changing only a couple of components so yeah very interesting right then i have another configuration and um, this configuration is also i call it mid-range so you can go for mid-range a little bit maybe like medium range or mid low mid high whatever you want to call it so it has the same uh, i7 processor i have changed the cpu cooler so it depends on you what what you what you want uh, if you if you want to shell out a few more bucks then go for uh, liquid cooling then i have changed the motherboard to asus and republic of gamers and, and i love this motherboard and 64 gb of ram so corsair is a very good company and uh, you can uh, totally rely on this ram and then 500 gigabytes of ssd and i mean this it's the same instead of one video card i have two video cards now and both of them are rtx 2080 ti's so these are 11 gigabytes of um, video cards they have 11 gigabyte memory and instead of power supply which was 650 watts i need a much bigger power supply you can see the estimated wattage is around 800 watts and uh, i have kept 1200 watts of power supply this kind of machine will cost around four thousand dollars yes now we are getting a little bit expensive From mid range or medium range, we go to a little bit mid high range, uh, if you want to call it, call it that. And here you have a CPU, which is i9, 10th generation. Cooler Master, this is the liquid cooling that we have, uh, and uh, Asus motherboard. Uh, 128 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Samsung 970 EVO, one terabytes of uh, ssd two 2080 ti's and uh, thousand watts of power supply i would rather make it 1200 watts of power supply so uh, by adding a few more uh, bucks here casing depends on you so just go and see what case suits you the best so this kind of configuration will cost around four thousand seven hundred dollars so I'm, I'm saying it's a mid high range so the previous configuration was around four thousand dollars but you can you can modify a few things here um, maybe you don't need a power supply of 1200 watts maybe you can just do it 1000 watts and you save some money there and here I would rather add a power supply which is um, 1200 watts so if I add a power supply of 1200 watts here the price will increase by under hundred dollars something like that so this will cost you $4,700, $4,800. And after mid high range, let's go to high range machines. So, and all these workstations that I'm showing you, you can build it on your own, just buy the parts and build it on your own, save a, it saves a lot of money. Um, so you need to you need to uh, see that you need to take care of uh, things like uh, uh, you buy the correct compatible parts so that's that's all you need to take care of so in this high range machine you have a i9 processor so it's not even very high range um, maybe a little bit more than medium high high <laughs> and uh, you have a core i9 uh, processor 10 cores 
Corsair. So um, yeah, one more thing is these are all home workstations. If you want to go for enterprise level, uh, it's totally a different story. But I'm going to talk about only the home workstations. So I have a liquid CPU cooling and um, Asus uh, motherboard. 960 pro or two terabytes of ssd and nvidia titan rtx 24 gigabytes which is a lot and um, i have a very good casing and 1600 watts of power supply 1600 watts of power supply because if i want to add something more in the future like another video card and this kind of machine will cost you around five thousand seven hundred dollars so yeah a little bit more expensive Then we go to one of the really expensive uh, uh, configurations. So here I have a CPU uh, which is AMD and that's a 64 core processor. So yeah, a lot of power. I have a very good uh, liquid cooling. I have uh, Asus Zenith Extreme motherboard and I have 256 gigabytes of RAM, 960 Pro, two terabytes of SSD. Maybe I can uh, pump the SSD a little bit more if I want to. Uh, I have two Titan RTX GPUs. So if you use NVLink, it will be 48 gigabytes of uh, GPU memory. That's a lot. And uh, I have a some i have casing not not a simple casing but like a very good casing and 1600 watts of power supply so when whenever you're buying power supply try to see if it's gold or titanium something something like that it's much better and uh, in terms of uh, like uh, the gpu titan rtx is one of the very good gpus that you have these days and I've I've been using it for for a while now, and I'm 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 just in love with it. It's, it's super fast, and um, I can train much higher batch sizes. Maybe bro, I will I will do some kind of comparison video in which I will talk about uh, um, uh, training deep learning models on 2080 Ti and RTX GPU separately, and uh, see how they compare. So all these parts that i've created so you can go and create your own bar but all these parts that i've created here i've shared in the description box so um, with different tags like low range high range mid high range something and things like that and you can just go and take a look and see whatever suits you try to change a few things as long as it's compatible it's fine don't worry about it and if it's not compatible you you need to probably um, uh, select select different parts and uh, you can build your own machine so if I have to if I have to like uh, do machine learning uh, work at home um, I I buy I would rather buy a workstation and if you already have a laptop or you don't have a laptop you can buy a cheap laptop and like a thin laptop that you can carry around in your home and you you have a workstation so you can also work on the workstation and then you can or you can just SSH into your laptop you uh, use into your workstation using your laptop and you can work there so you can do everything that you do online uh, or, or like in a browser um, so even if you have a like a Chromebook or something like that you can use that very easily so this is today's video and I hope you like it and if you have some suggestions on uh, diff other parts then let me know i will share these parts in the description box so you can uh, just go there and take a look 